And thanks for joining us on the program. I am Precious Amayu. And remember that you can join the conversation on X using the hashtag Beyond 100 Days and at TVC News NG. Let's get to the conversation. In the bid to tackle corruption, operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has raided the headquarters of the Dangote Group in connection with ongoing investigation into forex allocations in the country. An arrival of the EFCC operatives at the office of Dangote Group in Lagos, they demanded documents relating to allocation of foreign exchange to the group in the last 10 years. They scrutinized the documents provided by officials of the group for hours and took away some of them. The EFCC had written to 52 companies, directing them to supply documents supporting the allocation and utilization of foreign currencies to them in the last 10 years. The EFCC letter to the companies is part of ongoing investigation into alleged preferential forex allocation to individuals and organizations by the Godwin Emifili led Central Bank of Nigeria. And still on anti corruption, let's turn to this developing story. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission says. The former Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadi Almaru Farouk, seeks more time to honor the anti-graft agency. The EFCC spokesperson, Delo Iwali, said this on Thursday in Abuja. Mr. Iwali explained that the former minister sent a letter that she could not honor the invitation because she was indisposed due to health challenges. I recall that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission said it uncovered a total sum of 37 billion naira allegedly laundered in the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs on that former minister Sadia Umaru Farouk. These are um, ongoing moves by this administration and the EFCC to fight corruption. But let's talk about that now.